All right, Kev has a long question. Um, so our organization switched from SharePoint 2013 to 2019 a couple months ago. As a site collection admin, I noticed immediately that the audit log feature doesn't work as it used to. It is surprisingly difficult to find any information about this. There's two big issues. First, it seems 2019 does not log ASPX file interactions anymore. So it is not possible anymore to detect who has viewed a page. This creates problems as we need to know sometimes who exactly has or has not read information on a page. I think we've answered questions about that visibility before. Another issue is it seems there's no way to view the audit log of one single file. In 2013, I opened files properties and clicked audit button and it listed all the interactions with that file. Now it could use the site collection level audit log to filter the activity of a single particular user. And I can see the log of a whole document library, but it seems there is no way to get the log of one particular log for the past year which was super easy in 2013. I think the only solution seems to be that for every important file, I have to create a document library. Wow, yeah. Uh, and then there's only this one file in that library. So the library log equals file log. Maybe I'm not the only one with this problem or perhaps any ideas. Is it possible to improve the audit log feature or I just don't understand how to get this information in 2019? <sighs> huh. <laughs> you breathe, Christian, you breathe. Yeah. So um, as far as the audit log feature, um, it has changed. Um, and it also depends on where you're at in 2019. So it what update of 2019 you're on, um, because they did add some things back in kind of over time in different updates. Um, but essentially what happened in 2013 is to get an audit log out of SharePoint, you would just go in and turn on audit, or whatever, and then you would pull an audit log. Um, for the newer versions of SharePoint, they have integrated that at the site level for a lot of them. So depending on what version you're on and what update patch you're on, um, you're going to have one of multiple options. Um, you can still go into libraries, and if you dig in the advanced setting, there is an enable audit button that does still exist, but they're off by default so that you're not running crazy amounts of logs. So you do have to go enable it by choice. Um, you can do it to your pages library just like you used to, um, and then you can still run some of those audit reports and get that audit information. Um, the other thing is, if depending on what version you're in, if you go to the site contents at the very top, there's a user analytics option that um, progressively got added, which if you're in SharePoint Online or um, you know a, a modern version of SharePoint, you'll be able to see the full features of that. But in 2019, there was some baby beginnings of that. Um, so depending on what patch level you're on, if you go to the site contents on the top, there should be a user analytics option, which should give you your page reads. As far as your analytic and your file log information, um, you can put those wherever you want. So I think you said something about creating one library for that one file. You can actually go into where those reports are stored when you set it up and you can change the the library to go to like site assets or whatever you want for the, the audit log reporting, but you have to do all of that in advanced settings. Yeah, so it's not, you gotta only, dig for it. The only caution I have on that is be careful how much you, you audit log because it's eventually it's gonna bog down your server and, and slow down your searches and everything else. So turning too much audit is, is a bad thing, in my opinion. Yeah, and that's why it's turned off by default now is because essentially what was happening before is it was on by default and it was like overwhelming all the audit logs. So you have to very specifically know what do you want to enable? What do you want to watch? Do you want to trim your logs? Um, you can actually set up your reporting to like overwrite it or to add to it or whatever. Um, so I agree to Sherry's point, you need to be careful about how much you do and be very, you know, particular about it. Even to the point if you have a specific library that you log and and you things you need to log are stored there in another library if you don't, you know, that might be a reason to create a separate library um, is to ensure that you're only watching what you need to watch and not everything. Doesn't the cloud, the scale of the cloud solve that problem? So if I'm in SharePoint Online, I don't then have that scalability issue that performance yeah, so issue if you're with those in SharePoint audits online um you're not going to be managing your logs the way that you would in the on-prem versions um and so while 
The only thing is you got to remember there are application log files and then there are audit log files at um, the content level, which are two very different things. So the log files at the application level, you don't have to manage at all. Microsoft's going to do that for you. Your content log files, on the other hand, are going to be treated the same as any other information or content in your um, libraries, they're either just going to basically be managed by site quotas um, or however you're managing, you know, the content and the data that's in your storage. Like, okay, great. I hope that wasn't you. I hope you just picked up somebody, yeah. some coyote remnant or something. Yeah. But good times. All right, let's jump. Yeah. That, that's a good lead <laughs> into a SharePoint question. <laughs> <laughs>